One, go. Hey guys, it's Eric. We are here at the National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium in Dubuque, Iowa. And I'm gonna to talk to you today about a common misconception about rowing and also a pretty cool feature of our boats. So a lot of people ask us when we're talking to them, don't your arms get really tired? And we actually don't use our arms very much, but we use our legs. In an old working dinghy or a more traditional style rowboat, like the ones our boats are based on, you would use a lot more arms and back and shoulders. Uh, that's because your seat is fixed in place and you just push off with a tiny bit of leg and mostly your upper body. On our boats and on other modern rowboats, the seats actually slide. So we're able to use the really big muscles in our legs to get most of our power. If you look at this seat here, which is one of the ones from our boats that I took out, you can see that it's on wheels. And there's vertical wheels and horizontal wheels, which together keep it moving smoothly through the track that it fits into, which allows us to get a powerful, comfortable uh, push off in order to row. You'll also notice that these are made out of roller blade wheels, these big rubber things. That's because those are a lot quieter and a lot less likely to rust up and squeak or get caught than metal wheels that you might see on other types of sliding seat robots. And this particular design was made custom uh, by Gig Harbor Boatworks. They were actually designed and invented by our boat builder there, which is awesome. So that's sliding seats and a really common misconception. You can see me sliding back and forth right now. I'm using my legs. I can keep talking to you and use my arms for whatever I want. And when I'm rowing, I use those arms to put the blade of the oar where I want it to be. I'm getting very little power from the arms. So that's it guys. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this little lesson and I'll see you on the river.